Hello and welcome again to another edition of The Pastor's Heart. We are so excited that you have joined us again today. Uh, God has got something good for you today, and I just know it. Um, our guest this week is Pastor Bo Turner from Real Life Church in Macon, Georgia. Um, we're so excited about what uh, he's been bringing us. He's been talking about Acts 29 Church, and uh, we're really, really excited about that. Before we get into what he's got for us today, I want to remind you of the prayer line, first and foremost, 478-474-3986. If you have a prayer request or a need, uh, call that number. Uh, if you get a person, we'll pray with you. If you don't, please leave your prayer request and some contact information. We will call you back and pray with you uh, when we get the, when we can. Uh, that's something that we, it's very, very important to us, uh, and we're even stepping that up. Uh, a, a notch here soon so just be ready for it so we're just really excited about that the chance to connect with you and uh, agree with you in prayer yes. is why we are here god put a christian tv station right here in middle georgia to connect with you that's why you're yes. sitting where you're sitting uh and i know that's kind of hard to imagine that that uh, here right here in little old macon little old you is sitting in your little old house and he's got something prepared for you he's got something uh, in special, in store, that's why you're in front of that screen. Because we prayed over these, the taping of this program, and we know that God's got something. He's got the right people at the right spot. It's, it's, he's God. He can do it. I um, want to remind you that we stream our signal on WGNM.com. I, I get emails from people who uh, just keep us on at work. Uh, and when when we were down for a short time due to some storm damage and stuff, people kept saying, when are you going to get the stream back? When are you going to get the stream back? Because we got people that watch us. And uh, so the stream is up and running. Uh, things are going great with it. And uh, it's working better than ever. And uh, we really, really uh, are seeing the fruit of just broadcasting that through the Internet. Wow. It's going worldwide. Um, That's awesome. I, I don't care if you're in, in Bodark, Missouri. And there is a place called Bodart, Missouri. I've been there. <laughs> Uh, if you've got the internet, you can get WGNM, you can get Christian television, it's there for you. So uh, just uh, if you've got friends and family that you think would enjoy this programming that we offer, please tell them about it, offer it to them, tell them about uh, WGNM.com. You can also get a current schedule there, uh, the whole works, so everything's good to go there. Um, Real Life Church, very briefly, uh, it's a, a, a happening place out in East Macon. Um, tell us just a little bit about what people can expect when they come to real life. Uh, you know, I've said this in the, in the past programs. Real life is a, is a um, uh, Pentecostal church, of course, uh, multicultural fellowship of believers. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a whosoever will church. Right. Uh, when I, you know, I say Pentecostal because that's, you know, a part of, we are a, uh, officially a part of the church of God of, Cleveland, Tennessee, that's our, you know, beliefs mm -hmm. that we were Pentecostals. But we are made up of people from uh, all different backgrounds and, you know, people that uh, maybe were raised Baptist, for, but for some reason or another now they're a right. part of it. So it's, it's, it's really a church that, that ministers to all people. And uh, it's, it's a very friendly environment. It's a, a laid-back environment. Mm -hmm. Dress is, you know, we don't ask anyone to wear specific things as long as, it's indecent and in an order, you know, that kind of thing. Um, and uh, it's, it's, we have something, the wonderful thing about real life is it's not just uh, things for kids. It's not that we just have kids and youth and that right. kind of thing. We have a very active senior adult ministry, right. Dream Builders, uh, that meets every Sunday, uh, or fourth Sunday night, I believe it is, at 6 o'clock. They have their own pastor that takes mm -hmm. care of them. Of course, I'm, I'm ultimately their pastor, but we have a minister that, that helps me look after right. them. And, and uh, we are concerned about the, the senior citizens of our church. So we're, there's something there for the whole family. And also, I'd like to say it's uh, the Lord has really laid uh, something on my heart over the last several years. God's given me favor to be a multicultural pastor. Right. Um, uh, a lot of times, some of my people want to say, Pastor Bo, you're a, a, a black man trapped in a white man's body <laughs> <laughs> because of, of my style of preaching right, and right. that kind of thing. And, and I do. The Lord has given me uh, favor, and I want to be able to 
uh, reach out to all people. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the scripture says there's neither Jew nor Greek, bond nor free, male nor female, but we're all one in Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. And I don't believe God intends for us to be divided. Right. I believe he intends for us to be together. Absolutely. So that's another thing about Real Life Church is that Real Life Church is multicultural. We, do, we have, you know, Hispanic members and we have African American members and and uh, just people from all walks of life. And, mm -hmm. and so I'm thankful for that, you know, that it, it's comfortable for, for anyone, you know. That's great. So. That's great. Well, we've got some service times available uh, that we're going to put up on the screen for Real Life Church uh, and their website information, reallifechurchmacon.com, or you can call them 746-0344. There you see they meet uh, 9.15 a.m. and 11 a.m. Uh, uh, on uh, Sunday mornings. Uh, you can also uh, get there uh, Wednesday, 7.30 p.m. Uh, so just make sure that you, if you're in that area, if you're looking for a church home, they will welcome you uh, into uh, their fellowship very uh, warmly, I'm sure. Um, so anyway, this week we've been talking about Acts 29 being an Acts 29 kind of church. Right. Um, Let's go ahead and get into that. Why? What is? What are? What are we talking about today? Well, you know, we we when we say Acts twenty nine, we're, we're we're talking about being a continuation of the church that we read about in the Book of Acts. Mm -hmm. You know, Acts is the beginning of the church as we know it now, and a lot of the powerful things that took place there, and a lot of the the things that happened in the book of Acts. We, sh we should be that 29th chapter. We should be seeing a lot right. of the same things happening. You know, we talked about prayer. Prayer should be a powerful part of, of who we are as the last day's church. Uh, we've talked about witnessing. You know, we should be, we should be telling people of, of the wonderful things that God has done in our lives. We talked about fellowship, you know, that it's important for us to come together as believers and to agree together and, and, mm -hmm. and to exhort one another and lift one another and encourage one another just as they did in Acts 4, you know, when they came together with their own company. So we've talked about those things. But one another thing that I saw that I saw in the early church mm -hmm. that's very and is, is vitally important in these last days is that in the midst of the powerful move of God, there was a liberality of giving. Mm -hmm. The church, they, they started to give, and it was, it was so liberal in their giving. As a matter of fact, Acts 2.45 says this, they sold their possessions and goods, and they parted them to all men as every man had need. They had gotten so caught up in this thing mm -hmm. that they actually put everything in a common pot and just distributed as every, you know, that's, that's just... That's all in, man. <laughs> That's just totally, you know, yeah. a spirit of giving, mm -hmm. and uh, and it was it was something that was that was evident there uh, in the early church, and is and something right. that is important. What most people have a hard time with is a lot of times is the financial system of the church, but they don't realize that this financial system was set up by God Himself. Mm -hmm. It started in the Old Testament with Abraham as he paid tithe to Melchizedek. Mm -hmm. That tithe there is is from an original Hebrew word that literally means a tenth part. Right. The scripture teaches us that a tenth of everything that we earn is or this, that is increased, Proverbs says, that's increased belongs to the mm -hmm. Lord. Leviticus says it's God's. Right. And I that that actually for those that say those I, I I've taught taught a lot about giving and finances and, and tithing. And some people say, well, that's part of the Mosaic law. It was included in there, but it transcends that law. That's right. Because it, what he's talking about, where where Abraham gave to Melchizedek, was before the law was instated. So right. it, it, it happened. That's right. It started before the law. It transcends it. It's That's one of those right. things. It's like seed time and harvest That's and, right. and seasons. It's it happened before the before the law was instated, and it's gonna it, it goes all the way through. Um, and the concept of setting something apart for God goes back to the Garden of Eden. It does. Just, it wasn't necessarily a tenth, but right. it was setting something aside for God. Uh, and I, it, I, I get, this is one of my hot buttons. I, mm -hmm. I get going when we start talking about giving, mm -hmm. uh, especially tithing to the That's local right. church. So that, that it's so important, it's so vital that he even put it in the first part of the Bible. That's it. That's right. It's important. And, it's, and you know, even when you get into the New Testament, I believe it's uh, the book of Luke, 
when the, the Pharisees were being addressed and he says, you, you do this, you do this, you tithe. And then in that same statement, he said, which you ought, mm -hmm. that's New Testament, you ought to tithe because tithing is a principle that's taught in the word of God that we should, you know, that we should tithe and we should give not only tithe, but to give offerings. Right. There is a financial system that God has set up in order to take care uh, of the ministry mm -hmm. for the preaching of the gospel. The Bible says those that preach the gospel should live by the gospel. Mm -hmm. You know, and, it's, well, it's, and for instance, it's just like w where we are right now with this television station. This station is, is um, getting the gospel out all over our area and our community. The gospel is being preached. Mm -hmm. So therefore, there should be finances that are coming in, right, right. you know, to this station. It should be taken care of. And I'm sure that, you know, you would, you don't mind folks supporting <laughs> this ministry. But that's what it's, and this, and this is how it operates. Right. It operates off the gifts of believers and, and the ministries being involved, you know, in mm -hmm. this is, it's, and how it's, you know, it all takes place. As a result we're we're kind of like, uh, if anybody watches PBS, where they, mm -hmm. you know, this program is supported by, you know, such and such corporation and such and such corporation and viewers like you. Mm -hmm. Well, we're, we're supported by viewers. I mean, right. we, we, we Absolutely. It's, it's something that's vital. Uh, and, and I think, too, with the station in, in regards, and this in the, goes in the category of offerings. I mean, mm -hmm. we're not trying to get anybody's tithe. Your tithe right. goes to your local church. Right. Uh, and I'm always quick to point that out. Right. Um, but as far as your giving, of your offerings, well, you know, that what that's what makes it a part. When you give to to your church, that's part of your tithe. When you give to us, to the station, mm -hmm. you your God gives you the reward that He gives us. Mm -hmm. There's a there's a transfer of that. Mm -hmm. You become part of the station. You are now broadcasting the gospel 24 hours a day, seven days a week, right. to all of Middle Georgia, and you're streaming it over the internet. To the entire world, right? And so, when someone comes to Christ as a result of the TV station, that goes that's credited to you. God that's says right. you help make that's that happen. That's exactly right. And I'm gonna I'm gonna you know bless you for that. I'm gonna you know I'm not gonna forget you. That's right. And so, I think that's very important for people to know that it that's is. kind of we, we depend on that. That's I, right. I, you know that's a plug for us. I know, but right. you know this is all part of giving. You may have other. There's other worthy parachurch organizations in the, in our area that mm -hmm. deserve your your offerings. Mm -hmm. um, I can think of uh, a couple off the top of my head. There's Save a Life. They need people. They need right. money. They, there's, a, there's too many to mention. Everybody. We've partnered with a few of them uh, mm -hmm. here to help promote them and stuff. But uh, you know the giving is so right. important. Well, you know, and I and I say this of myself. If someone has a a problem with it, they can dial my church number for this. But I would say this, that, and, th and, and this is speaking, as a pastor speaking, if there's someone who's watching this, this, this uh, channel on a regular basis and receiving spiritual food here, and you don't have a place that you attend, mm -hmm. you don't have a church, then I think to, in order to, to stay in line with the Word of God, send your tithe to CTN until you get that church right. because you don't want to withhold the tithe and the offerings. Mm -hmm. So that's that's me saying that. That's not real. That's me saying that. So if you got a problem, call me and my, my number's coming up there sometime. <laughs> but I, I say, you know, that, that, you know, there's a lot of people who the only spiritual food that they're getting right now, they're right. getting from this channel. So, you know, I would encourage that. And then those of you who have your churches and, and, and you pay your tithe there and the offers there, you know, let the Lord speak to you about, you know, offerings to sin from time to time because this is a worthy cause. The gospel is being preached and so many lives are being changed. Um, you know, but the, the, thing, the thing about what we see in Acts is that as, as the Spirit of God began to move on their hearts, they they just started to give the needs were met. They even you know one scripture says they brought their their offerings, and they laid them at the apostles' feet, mm -hmm. and 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 distribution was made uh, as a result of it. I think that where a lot of, a lot of times where uh, churches get is they 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 don't have a problem with the worship uh, as far as the the singing and the lifting of the hands and all those kinds of good. It seems where the real problem comes in is the part of worship when it's time to receive. 
the tithe mm -hmm. and the offerings. People have a real struggle with their, and it's scriptural. It's a scriptural struggle because the Bible says we'll either serve God or mammon. Mm -hmm. And the word mammon there is money. Right. You know, and so, uh, and, and the problem is, is, is that people have a, a, a problem releasing it. And they, and they look and they say, well, I don't know, I don't know what's going to be done with it. I don't want to make a, a pastor rich or a preacher rich or, or, you know, something like that. The thing about it is it doesn't have anything to do with that at all. It's, what, it's when you are, are obedient to the Word of God and you release your tithe and offerings, then the blessings of God are going to be on you. It's up to, to the leadership to right. what they do with that. That's no, neither here nor there. It's you obeying God. Right. And he said, if you do this, then blessings come as a result of it. I think it's, 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 you hit on it there with the obedience. It's really obedience. And that's when, when we talk about uh, support for the station, all we ever really ask people to do is pray, Mm -hmm. Ask God what would uh, what God ask them have them ask God what He would have them to do, right. and then obey. That's all we can ask. We're not trying. We're not going to browbeat anybody for money. We're not going to say you know oh we're about to go off the air or anything mm -hmm. like that. Right, right. It is pray, pray, hear, and obey. That's right. And that's really for especially for the parachurch offerings for the for those offerings. Uh, we know you know what your tithe is supposed to be. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's pretty easy. You know, mm -hmm. it's 10% of your income. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, I think with the offerings part of it, all, you know, what would God have you do? Is it a one time? Is it a monthly? Uh, that's right. Whatever. That is uh, so very, very important to two parachurch organizations. It is. Uh, and I, you know, and, and I'm, I, I lead one here in Macon. I lead a parachurch. That's right. It's important. Uh, you think about the stuff that you, you think about all the things and complaints you get about what is on the airwaves mm -hmm. and what is on the internet. And here we are mm -hmm. putting the gospel out on the airwaves and the internet. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's important for that to be there. That's and right. uh, we're not the only ones doing it. There, we, CTN is a, is a network of 13 stations across the country mm -hmm. and, and uh, we are in a lot of different places. Mm -hmm. But uh, our focus is here in Macon and we are a local ministry. The studio is in Bibb County. This, we minister to, to people in the Macon, Middle Georgia area and uh, we get calls from Sandersville and Soperton mm -hmm. and, and places like that. So it's, it's a Middle Georgia ministry. It's not even just a Macon ministry. It's a Middle Georgia ministry that That's we right. have here. So, uh, you know, just realize that 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 obedience mm -hmm. is what God is after. To obey That's right. is better than sacrifice. That's right. Well, you know, Rip, the, the children of Israel were a, they were a nomadic people and they were always on the move. And they would travel along the banks of the water, the river. And what they would do is they would, they would take their seed, they would eat part of their seed, and they would keep part for later, and then they would sow their seed into the 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 rivers, into the moving waters, mm -hmm. and and as they would sow that seed into the water, it would it would travel down, and as the harvest rains would come, it would cause them to overflow onto the banks, and the seed would set in, and there was always something waiting on them in their future, always something ahead of them. The but the thing about the moving water is that's the the is symbolic of the moving of the Spirit of God, mm -hmm. where, where something is, ta is right. transpiring, taking place, such as CTN, where people are being saved and delivered, reports, testimonies coming in of people being touched. We've had testimonies come into our local church as a result of our uh, program on CTN, mm -hmm. you know, that they accepted the Lord, whatever, right, right. you know, that comes in here. All right, CTN is, is, a, is symbolic of a place where the Spirit of the Lord is moving, right. moving waters. In other words, it's good ground to sow seed because when you sow seed, you want to sow it into, into good ground where you know there can be a return. And I would encourage the, the people of God who are watching today, mm -hmm. I would encourage them to get involved with CTN. Not every area is, is blessed as, as the Macon area and, and the surrounding middle Georgia mm -hmm. areas to have a station like this. Not every right. area has that. They depend on, you know, programming, you know, national program like TBN or whatever, and TBN doesn't go into every area. We're blessed to have a local uh, station, especially right. you pastors. I want to encourage pastors. <laughs> I want to encourage you pastors. We've, God's given us and afforded us an opportunity 
to have to where we can preach the gospel and reach our whole you know the areas around us mm -hmm. and so i want to encourage you and then i know we didn't mean to get into this but that this is what god i believe the lord's right. leading us in this direction right now because we want to make sure that we support the ministry uh, with everything we get and have the same spirit that the early church had to give i think too the and, and not to i'm not going to uh tbn has a different mission Mm -hmm. You know, we, we're different from TBN. We're similar, but we're different. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm not going to knock them in any stretch, right. but w they're primarily a national ministry. Right. Uh, the national ministries are on board with them. And, it, and I'm going to say this as a, as a Pentecostal boy myself, mm -hmm. uh, they're primarily only Pentecostal. Mm -hmm. We here are more uh, non-denominational mm -hmm. and like that diversity we've talked about in churches where, mm -hmm. the, where we t usually talk about diversity racially mm -hmm. um, the diversity of denominations that mm -hmm. we we have here locally right. um, you know find out you know if if ABC uh, you know non-pentecostal church from here in Macon unless you have a lot of money in a huge you know getting on TBN is going to be very very difficult mm -hmm. Because uh, they have, you know, all their time slots are fill, filled with people that are that are on board with them. That's right. Um, but we have the opportunity here to bring on local ministries uh, for the, for an That's outlet right. as Absolutely. an outlet for people, and and Absolutely. we're. We charge ministries to be on. That's one of the ways we do what we do. Um, mm -hmm. Pulling back the curtain a little bit. Mm -hmm. Some of you may say, "Shut the curtain back," <laughs> but that doesn't cover everything we do. Right. Because we charge less than other stations would charge. Right. And uh, we charge much less than other stations would charge. Right. Um, and we we are of the same spirit mm -hmm. in the sense that. Uh, you're working with Christians in this. You're, you know, we're we want your message out there. Mm -hmm. We want to help you refine your message, and we work with local ministries. We've sat with local churches uh, free of charge and said, okay, here's what you need to do to make your program look better, mm -hmm. because you know we tell them it, you, it's Christian television, and both of those words have to be done justice. Mm -hmm. If you have uh, too much. Christian in word and not you don't pay attention to your television stuff you're, it's going to be a dry program that no one wants to look at if you have too much television and glitz and glamour and not enough of that Christian in there mm -hmm. then it's going to be just show that's right if you serve both of those words in the sense that that you've got so we work with churches to to sharpen their message right to be more effective and we do all of that as a ministry here we do that as a um because uh, we want to we want the word to get out there it's, that's right I say this frequently too, and uh, again, we've we've got <laughs> we're going to carry this on into tomorrow as far as the, the giving church, uh, giving to the church. But when God, when Jesus gave that parable of the sower, mm -hmm. he, you know, we always see the picture of the guy reaching into a bag of seed and he's spreading the seed like this. Mm -hmm. That type of sowing is called broadcasting. That's it. Absolutely. You go to Lowe's, you buy a green little hopper on wheels. Mm -hmm. That's called a broadcast spreader. Mm -hmm. And it's spreading the seed. Mm -hmm. And this is and the and Jesus said, the seed is the word. That's it. And so that's what we're doing. We are broadcasting Absolutely. the word of God 24 hours a day, mm -hmm. seven days a week. And um, it, over the internet, over middle Georgia, and it's something that's that I think is we're just about to see what God can do with a, with a local Christian station yes, in Middle Georgia. Yes, absolutely. Um, we're local. That's our, that's, that's our other thing is we're, we're right here. You can walk in the door and there's my office. <laughs> that's, it. that's right. That's so, exactly I mean, right. it's, it's, it's we're, we're concerned about this area. It's not just about, we're not just here to, you know, get your money. Uh, we're here to minister to people, but it takes money to do it. Yes, it uh, does. I think it's Jesse Duplantis that says uh, the gospel's free, but it ain't cheap. It ain't cheap. Uh, <laughs> and when you talk about television, it's money. Um, and some people say, well, people aren't really watching Christian television. That's hogwash. People are watching yes, because sir. we're getting the calls. You're getting the calls we're from getting being them. on. Absolutely. Uh, people are watching our station, and, and, and it's something that's very, very needed. This is, uh, and this is, I think, worthy ground to sow into. I right. really do. And I think God's, God can bless people um, by sowing into this ministry. Absolutely. And I believe there's, there's people out there right now 
uh, Rip, that that the Lord's speaking to them as we're talking right now mm -hmm. about sowing seed into this ministry. This is a ministry. Mm -hmm. It's the gospel's being preached, and there there is some. As a matter of fact, there's there's some businessmen that may be watching us at this particular time that you've been looking for a particular place to sow substantial seed and you want to see return. You know, there are people that God has blessed monetarily that love God with all their heart and they want to be a part of spreading mm -hmm. the gospel and seeing people saved. And I believe there's people right now that are watching us that you need to hear the voice of the Holy Spirit. Let Him speak to you right now. You know, and I'm not going to tell you in an amount or, or go in that direction. You know, if the Holy Spirit spoke it, I would. I'm not afraid to do that. But if, it, but there is somebody right now watching us at this very moment that you've been looking for a place to, to sow uh, a substantial seed in, and I would recommend that it happen here. You know, I can say, you know, you, you just made mention, I can say we're on both secular and Christian television, and the response from Christian television is, is twice what mm -hmm. we get from secular television. There's more, we, we've seen more uh, results from, from, from CTN. And I'm not saying it just because I'm sitting next to you today. But we, we appreciate the, the opportunity that God has given right. Real Life Church to share the good news of the gospel. We've got uh, some contact information for the station, some uh, the address and uh, the business phone number that I'd like to put up real quick. Just to let you, I'm going to do about uh, 30 seconds of vision casting here. We are in the process of, right now we're in an old, uh, what used to be that when we were a UPN affiliate, this used to be the salespeople office. Two people used to be in here. This is basically just a large office. Uh, and we have one camera, we have some lights, and uh, we, just a little bit of paint, and boom, you got a TV studio. Um, but we are in the process. We have a huge warehouse space out in the back that used to be a warehouse. I won't let anybody call it a warehouse. It is our future studio. Uh, and we will have uh, the studio space. We need to air condition it and we need to supply a three camera show. The cameras, uh, shows should be uh, done with three cameras and right now we only have one. So uh, that's kind of where we're headed with this so that we can produce programs uh, more and more for, for broadcast and for the internet. So that's where we're headed. Um, we we got to wrap up real quick. We're going to continue some of this into tomorrow. Uh, I pray blessings over you uh, and I pray that the that uh, the Lord will speak to you as to how you can help this ministry. We hope yes. again that tomorrow that you tune in for another edition of The Pastor's Heart.